Hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this one, we're going to talk about a valve system that isn't super common, but it's pretty unique and could be used in a lot of internal combustion engine vehicles before electric vehicles take over. This valve system is called Unicam. The Unicam valve system is quite different from the other two valve systems, SOHC and DOHC. As the name suggests, the Unicom valve system is a combination of the DOHC and SOHC constructions we've already discussed. Honda came up with the Unicam valve system to bridge the gap between SOHC and DOHC valve systems. The first mass-produced vehicle to use this valve system was the first-generation Honda CRF 450R in 2002. Thanks to its straightforward engine design, the Honda CRF 450R became the lightest dirt bike in its class. So, what's this technology all about? What are the details of its construction? Overall, the Unicam valve system is pretty similar to other valve system constructions. This system uses a single camshaft positioned above the intake valve, and it also has a rocker arm that operates the valves. But when you look closer, this rocker arm has two branches that operate two valves at the back at the same time. What's more, Honda has managed to create an engine with the best of both worlds, combining the strengths of SOHC and DOHC. For instance, it can deliver more power at high RPMs than SOHC, but not quite as much as DOHC. The issue of high RPM is caused by the remaining inertia in the rocker arm, which makes it harder for the valve to close the combustion chamber. This means that when the piston moves towards top dead center, the air coming in is pushed back into the intake manifold, which isn't ideal for high-performance vehicles with engine speeds above 10,000 revolutions per minute. The second advantage is that it has better torque at low RPM compared to DOHC, although not as high as SOHC. This is because using a single camshaft reduces the load on the crankshaft at low RPM, although it's not as efficient as a SOHC engine with one intake valve and one exhaust valve. Okay, now let's move on to production costs, which is one of the most important things to consider when determining whether a technology is viable. From a production standpoint, this engine can be made at a lower cost than DOHC because it only uses a single camshaft. It's even simpler than SOHC because it doesn't use a rocker arm for the intake valve. Plus, the shorter cylinder head design means the camshaft is placed directly above the intake valve, which makes an engine with the Unicom valve system look more compact. However, because it's somewhere between SOHC and DOHC, it's considered average. That means this valve system isn't yet super important and still needs to be considered for mass production vehicles, especially for high-performance vehicles like the CBR or CB lineup, which operate at very high RPM ranges. It's still only used in a few products, like the Africa Twin 1100cc, Honda CRF 450R, and Honda CRF 250R. But Suzuki is also developing this technology for its two-wheel vehicle lineup, which is great news for us. That's all the info we can share in this video. As usual, if you have any feedback, suggestions, or questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.